ஹாய் நீட் ஆஸ்பிரண்ட்ஸ் வெல்கம் டு வாரி மெடிக்கல் அகாடமி வாரி மெடிக்கல் அகாடமி சார்பாக அனைத்து விதமான டாபிக் சார்ந்த ஒவ்வொரு வீடியோவும் இனி வரும் நாட்களில் உங்களுக்கு வரும் உங்களுக்கு இதை சார்ந்த சந்தேகங்கள் கேள்விகள் எதுவாக இருந்தாலும் கமெண்ட்ஸில் பாஸ் பண்ணுங்க எங்க எக்ஸ்பர்ட் ஃபேக்கல்ட்டி மெம்பர்ஸ் போடுற வீடியோஸ் பிடிச்சிருந்ததுன்னா ஷேர் பண்ணிக்கோங்க அந்த வீடியோ ரெகுலராக உங்களுக்கு வரணும்னா சேனலை சப்ஸ்கிரைப் பண்ணிக்கோங்க தேங்க்யூ விஸ் ஆல் தி பெஸ்ட் ஓகே குட் மார்னிங் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் அண்ட் லாஸ்ட் கிளாஸ் ஐ வில் எக்ஸ்பிளைன் அண்ட் தால்பி and next one is uh, heat capacity and types of systems and thermodynamic process i explain and today class we could discuss entropy what is entropy 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 is denoted as s s disorder of the system the entropy means to measure the randomness what is entropy to measure the to measure randomness randomness to measure the randomness of the system that is called entropy to measure the randomness all natural process all natural process entropy increases order to disorganized if mixing of gases if mixing of gases also entropy increases in universe entropy not equal to zero it is greater than zero okay now now one by one we can write entropy is to measure the randomness of the system or system plus surrounding v is raised to universe remember and uh, organize it to disorganize if randomness increases randomness if randomness is increases means entropy increases entropy means uh, delta s delta s means we cannot uh, uh, determine entropy can determine the change in entropy we can determine that's why delta s also increases increases means that is positive that is equal to delta s greater than 0 greater than 0 that is spontaneous process what is the student delta s greater than 0 that is spontaneous if i am taking randomness decreases randomness randomness decreases or disorder of the system disorder of the system decreases disorder decreases means delta s is negative if des- delta s is negative means delta s less than 0 what's less than 0 that is called non spontaneous process non spontaneous remember this one non spontaneous next to oh, if system system and uh, surrounding system and uh, surrounding surrounding in equilibrium whether system and surrounding in equilibrium that is delta s is equal to 0 delta s is equal to 0 means reversible reversible and system plus surrounding equilibrium at equilibrium condition write down at equilibrium system and surrounding is equilibrium that is equal to delta s 0 and to measure the randomness of the system to measure the randomness that is called entropy the symbol is s we cannot determine the direct s value we can determine the change in entropy change in enthalpy change in internal energy next to randomness or disorder increases delta s is positive if delta s is positive delta s greater than 0 that is spontaneous process what is spontaneous process and uh, the tendency the process which occur tendency to occur by its own the process tendency to occur by its own or proper initiation some proper conditions that is called spontaneous process spontaneous means for example dissolution of salt in water it is a natural and dissolution of sugar in water next to evaporation of lakes evaporation of lakes also example spontaneous process we are not using any external agent 
if external agent is required we are providing external agent continuously that is called non spontaneous process again the temperature difference the heat transferred from hot body to cold body that is also spontaneous process diffusion of gases from high pressure to low pressure high pressure to low pressure that is also spontaneous process and uh, what is spontaneous process the process which occur by its own by its own tendency to occur by its own that is spontaneous process non spontaneous process means the process which do not occur by its own by providing external energy that is called non spontaneous remember that spontaneous and here delta s randomness is decreases when randomness decreases delta s negative delta s less than 0 non spontaneous process and uh, one by one we can discuss entropy this is a point are important remember <coughs> next to delta s already i know na entropy write down entropy entropy to measure the randomness of the system it can be represented as and entropy means we can write delta s is equal to delta q by t delta s is equal to delta q by t at constant temperature we can write delta s by delta q by n t n t for mole for mole we have to write it okay write the units what are the units students delta s is measured in this one is joule heat measured in joules and number of mole temperature in kelvin now delta s is equal to joule mole inverse and kelvin inverse this is the unit of entropy what is the unit of entropy student joule mole inverse kelvin inverse because heat measured in joules n is equal to mole per mole per mole i am writing temperature in kelvin degree centigrade also but delta s is equal to joule mole inverse and kelvin inverse these are the important formula delta s actually delta s is equal to delta q by nt another formula also there students delta ds delta s is equal to integration dq by t these two formulas you have to remember delta s is constant temperature and temperature is variable temperature is different temperature is variable this formula delta s is equal to integration dq by t and delta s is equal to delta q by t is the entropy next to what are the understand this one this one is the temperature constant this equation is temperature constant and here is temperature is not constant temperature is variable use this formula next we are explaining about entropy some important points we have to discuss and entropy is state function or path function yes entropy is entropy is state function entropy is state function what is the meaning student state function means and state means it is depend on initial state and final state of the system and state function means the thermodynamic property whose values depends on initial and final state of the system that is uh, different this there first point entropy is the state function next to any cyclic process in any any cyclic process any cyclic process entropy change 
एंट्रोपी चेंज डेल्टा एस इज इक्वल टू जीरो इन एनी साइक्लिक प्रोसेस चेंज इन एंट्रोपी डेल्टा एस इज इक्वल टू जीरो अनदर पॉइंट राइट डाउन डेल्टा एस इज इक्वल टू एस टू माइनस एस वन एस टू माइनस एस वन मीन वी कैन राइट लाइक दिस ऑल्सो डेल्टा एस इज इक्वल टू एस फाइनल माइनस एस इनिशियल एस फाइनल माइनस एस इनिशियल नेक्स्ट टू एंट्रोपी इज एंट्रोपी इज एक्सटेंसिव एक्सटेंसिव प्रॉपर्टी एंट्रोपी इज वॉट इज द एक्सटेंसिव प्रॉपर्टी Entropy is an extensive property. Property, the property which depends on mass. The the property which depends on quantity of the substance, quantity of the cell. That is a mass dependent property. Entropy is the mass dependent property. Now, what are the point you have to remember? An entropy is state function. Entropy is a state function. In any cyclic process, change in entropy is zero, and delta S is equal to S two minus S one, and change in entropy is equal to S final minus S initial. Entropy is extensive property. These points you have to remember for entropy. Next one is different process. How entropy increasing or decreasing? I will explain. Already you know. What are the point I discussed here? Here any irreversible reaction. Remember in the universe, delta S total, delta S total is equal to delta S system plus delta S surrounding, delta S surrounding greater than zero. Remember any universe in the universe irreversible reaction. any irreversible reaction natural process in the universe delta st is equal to delta s system plus delta s surrounding greater than 0 now i am taking one one by one example for example i am taking h2o in liquid h2o liquid is converted to h2o gas h2o gas now liquid to gas heat is absorbing heat is absorbing means delta h is equal to positive delta h is equal to positive that is called endothermic reaction this is endothermic reaction endothermic reaction why endothermic sir liquid is converted to vapor heat is absorb energy is absorbing heat is absorbing that is endothermic if you in the case of s we can write liquid and gas from liquid is some orderness is present but gases the molecules are far away from each other now entropy from liquid to sol liquid to gas entropy increases now entropy increases means delta s is equal to positive if delta s is equal to positive means delta s greater than 0 for liquid converted to gas another condition i am right h2o this is solid converted to h2o liquid H2O solid converted to H2O liquid. Now solid means ice. Ice is converted to liquid. What is the process actually? Here is heat is absorbing. Heat absorbing means delta H is equal to positive. This is the endothermic reaction. This is endothermic, not exothermic. Exothermic means heat releasing. Here is heat absorbing. Solid converted to ice converted to liquid. Next, coming to the delta S, here is positive or negative? Again, solids are orderly arranged, definite shape, definite volume. That's why solid converted to liquid, number of disorderness is increases. That's why delta S is positive. 
डेल्टा एस इज पॉजिटिव मीन्स डेल्टा एस ग्रेटर देन जीरो दीज आर दॉइंट यू हेव टू रिमेम्बर इन नेक्स्ट क्लास वी कैन एक्सप्लेन स्पॉन्टेनिटी एंड डिफरेंट thermodynamic process how entropy change in isobaric process isochoric process isothermal process and spontaneity based on spontaneity entropy will explain next class and prepare well all the best your preparation thank you